Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at part two of our Google Forms overview. In the previous video, we took a look at setting up your form, and now let's go ahead and see what happens when people complete your form. So let's go ahead and say view live form. And this is exactly how visitors to your form will see it. And as you can see, they can fill it in, put in a name, I put in an email address, and they'll answer the questions as they go through. And submit. And there we see the message we put in the previous video, which was, thank you for completing the quiz. If you finished early, please work on your next assignment. So now back here in the form editor itself, let's go ahead and look at the responses. And we see we're still accepting responses. If we click that, we can turn off responses. So if you want students to uh, have a time limit, you can say you have half an hour to complete this. After half an hour, you can say not accepting responses, or you can turn it back on again. But let's go ahead and take a look at the response format. So we can do a summary of responses. And a summary of responses will be just that, a summary. Uh, we'll see all the names, email addresses that come in. We can see uh, these little graphs of responses and how people have done. We can also go into a more detailed look and say, view responses. And that'll open up a spreadsheet for us. And here in the spreadsheet, we can see each column is named according to the questions that we put into the into the form. Now if you want to grade this, you could grade it here by just going through and checking off correct answers and incorrect answers. Or you could use an add-on like Flubberoo and you can enable that to run in your spreadsheet. Now I have another video on how to run Flubberoo and I will link to that in the video itself. So just go ahead and click on the annotations and that will take you to the next video in the series. But that's how your Google Form responses will appear to you. And of course, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.